uh, and so I'm guessing that after you processed, uh, G 25 different Matterport tours, that you were somewhat pleased because you didn't have uh, misalignment errors that would create problems for you when the tours were processed. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, trim as you go. Yeah, that's just that's a good rule of thumb whether you're doing a mobile home or a baseball stadium. Um, you're there. You can see where mirrors are. You can see where windows are. You can see where uh, splatter that you want to cut out is. So it's just good to trim as you go. It adds a little bit of time to the project, but I think it's invaluable because you'll spend more time in front of the computer or more time in, at your office looking at these mini maps, trying to trim it. And that's just tedious and painful. Uh, and And did you run into a lot of mirrors? Not a lot of mirrors, but there was a ton of windows in, in the suite areas. Okay. Um, uh, bring supporting accessories. Yeah. So, you know, one of the first things I learned was I should have, I have a lot of family in the medical field and I should have talked to the doctors and nurses in the family to find out what kind of shoes they wear because the shoes that I had weren't it. Um, but yeah, supporting accessories. So, um, battery packs, charging cables for the battery packs. Uh, I bought a couple larger battery packs that I'm super happy with. And, um, the video that I release, I'll put a links to those, um, products in there, but yeah, battery packs, charging cables, um, make sure you have extra batteries, make sure your batteries are charged, um, I had an extra tablet on standby if I needed it. Um, then it can get down to everything such as layers of clothes. You know, it was freezing the first day I was there, but second day it was warmer out. Uh, so layers of clothes, headwear to keep your head, you know, not sunburned and warm. Um, snacks, you know, I left all my stuff in one area. And by the time I ended up in the other area, it was so far away. I was lucky to have some snacks on me. Um, water, bring plenty of water. Uh, I um, I'm confused. You're at a baseball stadium. No concessions. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I fully was like, great. I'm going to get to have a chocolate malt and hot dogs, and you know, it's going to be great. And I got there, and there's nobody working there. It's you know, not a baseball day, so they didn't have any food. Um, and so what I had to do the first day was I, I well, actually in the second day too, I door dashed uh, and just met the door dash driver right outside the stadium and got my food and went and ate it. Okay. Uh, 